Thanks for checking out the Boss and Roll channel. If you want to support what's going on here while getting amazing perks like the Discord community, have me play your deck, and my list in Cyborg Guides before tournaments, join the Patreon or YouTube membership. This channel is made possible by these amazing sponsors. Check them out and support them. Their links are in the video description. Thanks again for being here. Now let's go play some Magic. Welcome back to the Boss and Roll channel. Today I'm playing Legacy at the request of Patreon subscriber Ray. And I'm playing Esper Surgical Extraction Delver. This is a strategy that everyone who reads Surgical Extraction or Extirpate or the various versions thereof thinks of when they first read those cards, which is, this is great. I'll just shove this in my main deck and make it so my opponent can't win the game because I took all their good cards. We all had a phase like that or knew someone who did in my legacy locals back in 2008, 2009, there was a local who just main decked three extra pates in every deck, claiming that if I wasteland you and take your volcanic island and you don't have red and you can't play anymore. It was deeply frustrating when it worked because it worked so, so rarely. But when it did, you could just see that intermittent reinforcement hitting their brain and they just locked it in like this is a good thing to be doing, even though they lost nine out of ten matches. There's actually an entire... Hashtag on Twitter called hashtag don't surgical that, which is moto photos of people boarding in surgical extraction in matchups it shouldn't be in and then targeting cards that they shouldn't target. It's a whole meme in the magic community. And here we are building a main deck around it. There are three copies of surgical in the main deck. And let me tell you why this is okay. Number one. Almost every legacy deck right now is using its graveyard. Initiative is the one massive exception. Delver uses it to get Delirium and to play Murktide, so they're not really doing anything specific in there. But if they mill over a Murktide early to set up the second one, you can take all of them out of the deck. It's non-zero there. And then Uro decks, Reanimator, certain builds of Storm. There's a lot of Echo of Eons flying through the queues right now. The more playable surgical is against the field the more reasonable it is to try something like this and the fundamental theory of why just showing surgical extractions in your main deck is bad is that you have to get through the first wave of the card before you can surgical the next one like against delver if they play a delver you're not like aha i have the surgical you have to get that thing into the graveyard somehow through their wall of counter magic and then take the Delver with Surgical, and then hope that their other threats still in their hand were Delvers. This is card disadvantage. You have to solve the problem first before you even get to engage in your card disadvantage disadvantageous play. There's a lot that has to go right. And in order to facilitate this game plan, we have to put cards in our opponent's graveyard before they get to use them. Which is why this deck is full of discard spells. This is the best way to cheese an opponent. That's also why we have Wasteland in the deck. It's as a two of because we are a three color deck in Legacy. That comes with costs. But wasting in early land and then taking that color out of their deck is a thing this deck can do. But mostly it's Thoughtseize and Hymdetarak. We're trying to hit a clutch spell and then remove all their copies of it. Snapcaster Mage is in the deck to refire the discard spells or refire the surgical, taking multiple things. And we just have a bunch of efficient interaction, a bunch of tempo stuff. We've got Snuff Out and Force of Will. All of this buying time for Delver of Secrets and Murktide Regent to win the game. I have my eye on Baleful Strix. I kind of wish this was another spell that could flip Delver. But I also appreciate Strix for when we need to settle in and grind when we're not the beatdown. It's an evasive threat versus the initiative. It's blue. It pitches to fours. Strix just does so much that I think it's worth the slot. When I was tooling around with this, I had to build with a Stoneforge Mystic Package. I had to build with Mercurial Spell Dancer. But I kept coming back to Strix, and I think this is where I want to run this league on. I came in pretty hot on this surgical thing. And that doesn't mean that I don't like this or I'm going to have a bad time playing this deck. I'm just, I wanted to address the elephant in the room first because everybody has that thought of, I'll just put these in my main deck and then my opponent's deck won't function and I'll win easily. But it's not theoretically sound 
but we have built this deck specifically to move it in the direction of being more sound than it normally is. We've put the necessary support there. I have played builds of Esper Surgical decks on the channel before. I did one in Legacy and one in Modern. Legacy 1 had Seagate Oracle in it to double spells and do crazy stuff there. Uh, Snapcaster Mage is our Seagate Oracle in this deck. It's just a little less setup required and a little more modality in the late game. If you want to see different versions of this, uh, just uh, search Bosch and Roll Surgical, and I'm sure they'll come up. I might have even done two Legacy ones now that I'm thinking about it. It's been a long time that I've been cranking these out. I expect you've, you can see multiple instances of this. This version is new, though. The Delver and Merktide region putting a real tempo slant. We're not really trying to run them completely out of win conditions the way a control deck would. We're trying to buy enough time that they stumble on their function and just kill them with the normal flying creatures that the format offers. Despite my reservations, I am excited to do this. I did tune it to a spot where I think it'll work as well as it can. And let's go try this thing. This is Ray's Esper Surgical. I'm on the play in round one. My hand does have land Thoughtseize and Force Backup, but it's not doing anything else. A second land gets me Strix. Wasteland puts me in the dirt forever. I'm going to try it, even though I'm not super happy about it. I believe there's 19 lands in this deck. 18 lands. Uh-oh. I think I was supposed to play 19 and trimmed something and forgot to put it back in at some point. Okay, 18 lands it is. Only two of them are Wasteland, though, so more color sources than the average 18 land deck. It's all good. We'll figure it out. Oh, opponent's on a mult of five so far. This is a great hand to beat up with Thoughtseize. Okay, opponent mult of five. Let's hope they're not lands or some shit. Thoughtseize you. No consideration at all for Scrubland, by the way. Oh, God. Well, there is a Wasteland over there. We'll see if they want to crack it off. I'm going to take this Dark Ritual. All right, we can both just fail to function for a while. Off to a thrilling start here. Okay, they drew Agadim. Okay, come on, deck. Give me the land. No punish, no punish, no punish, no punish. She. Okay. Uh, now they know I'm on a one lander. I'll finish my thought. No consideration for Scrubland because if I drew a Ponder or Brainstorm, I want to be able to cast that. Right on time. <laughs> Nobody's playing magic today. Okay, Swamp. And then we know about the Takanuma still in their hand. Okay, Swords to Plowshares. Someday, maybe. Another Wasteland. Don't do this to me. All right, joke's on you. I have to discard. I'm going to discard a Prismatic Ending. I don't think that's going to find a lot of targets here. Though, unfortunately, they can cast Liliana this turn, and then they can cast Shoulder the turn after. If with a land. Or they could cast Shouldred now. Okay, so here's the thing. If I draw a white source, I can clear the Shouldred. And I have basically no way to clear Liliana. This Wasteland is chilling. I need three mana to clear a Liliana. I need one to clear a Shouldred. I'm in a bad spot regardless. Okay, I'm going to try to trust my deck to do anything here. Which might be a mistake. I do play a Caracas. But that's just cast plow, so that's redundant. How about a white source right now? Make me look smart. <laughs> or do the opposite. Okay, discarding Thoughtseize. I did mean to build this as a 19 land deck, but we're also just kind of running bad. The Shultred's gonna get a few pounds of flesh on its way through. But we just gotta live in that world. Agadim. Zapped it in. Oh, hell no. You cannot have the initiative to. This Liliana has very smartly remained in the hand the whole game. That thing is likely to take over. Haha. -ha. We did it, Reddit. Lords to Plowshares, and then they wasteland me play Liliana, and I can never win. There's the wasteland. They've done a very good job drawing almost exclusively lands for the whole game since the point where. We both didn't have anything going on, and I've done a good job drawing none. Even Urborg, yep. 
And anything I discard ends up in the void. I think I can just concede this one. That was disappointing. <laughs> okay. We're playing against some sort of mono black initiative hox ish style thing. Dress down seems reasonable if I can keep the initiative out of the game. Snuff out seems unplayable against the mono black deck. Brazen Borrower attacks and interacts with the board. They're not doing anything with their own graveyard. I'm going to cut one Surgical. So there's three Surgicals in this deck. I was leaning into the theme. I probably would have played two myself. I'm going to always leave two in minimum for the league, for the content. But that third one is optional. And if my opponent's not using their graveyard, I am going to cut it. Deal with it. We saw Dothy Voidwalker, which affects Snapcaster Mage, but Snapcaster Mage is also a big part of my plan. Am I looking at him to Turok or Prismatic Ending? I think it's him. Yeah, I'd rather be able to answer stuff that slides through than further beat up their hand, because if they're a Liliana deck, they're planning to play Hellbent anyway. A no-lander. Great. Okay, here we go. This one I can keep. I'm going to bottom Basic Island. I have Ponder, I have Thoughtseize, lands are, although we were screwed for the entirety of game one and mulligan to no lander, that doesn't make lands not the most plentiful card type in my deck. But two Dark Rituals, Urza Saga, Oppo Agent. Okay. Urza Saga, glad I brought in my dress downs. Just completely by accident. Swamp, oh no, oh no, you drew a card? Don't do cards. I hope this is Shouldred. Okay, all right, that one's fine. It's not the initiative. I'm in. I can plow Shieldred and cast Ponder. The question is, do I want to take an extra two damage to have the best Ponder? And I think that I do. A uh, Force of Will is a nice consolation prize. Though, I also want Brainstorm, and now I have to shuffle this away. Okay, uh, I'll keep the Brainstorm around. Take my extra two from Shieldred. And then clear out Shieldred. I think I want more blue here. There are double black spells in my deck, but just making sure I can cast Brainstorm next turn is a priority. Take that three for one on Swords of the Plowshares. Okay, found the dress down. Easy money. Gonna Brainstorm. Hit my land drop. Good news. And do I want to Thought Seize one mystery card? I don't think so. They'll probably dedicate resources to Saga over the next turn cycle. That gives them multiple draws where I can poke a Thoughtseize through. Do I want land number four, or do I just want to shuffle in my upkeep? I think I do want land number four. I have Snapcaster. That's a mana intensive play. And now they've had two draws, and I can still dress down. I'm going to go for Thoughtseize. Found a Dothy Voidwalker. I'll take it. Two swamps in their hand. And I've got the dress down ready to rock. Construct number one. Construct number two. I'm going to fetch in response with both fetch lands. Underground sea and scrub land. Get my color set up here. Don't really want to fetch twice. There's brainstorm in my graveyard, snapcaster in my hand. But if they get pithing eel here, I don't want to get clowned. I'm going to let them search too. I'll fail to find, really. Oh, they drew this turn, the one thing they could find. It's awesome. Okay, I'm going to dress down in response. It's a retrofitter. Now that I know what's going on this turn. And now i got to find a way to win this game. All right, prismatic ending. That clears the retrofitter, and now I have to beat Swamp. Hey, surgical. Okay. Prismatic ending. Take out the retrofitter. And I'm going to stop in my opponent's draw step. And I believe I want to take out their Urza Sagas. And I can spend the mana on this, save the life points. They drew a Dothy Voidwalker. Okay, let's look at this deck. We've got Chains of Mephistopheles, geez. Oppos, Lilianas. Yeah, there's a lot of big threats in here still. I'm going to remove these Sagas, and then I'm also going to remove their Voidwalkers. Because that was their draw for the turn. I'm actually getting card advantage off of this. Surgical. 
not entirely convinced this is better than just casting Ponder, but I'm doing what the deck is here to do. Voidwalker from hand. Okay. They are at 24 with a deck full of scary cards. They're now hellbent. I'd love a Murktide region right now. Press down, not exactly what I want, but there it is. Oh, come on. This immediately drew Shieldred. Okay, I'm going to dress down in their end step. That turns off Shieldred for my turn, and I can do cantripping as necessary. Force of Will right on time. Prismatic ending. There are only three colors in my deck. Not helpful, and I'm probably going to die to this Shieldred. Yeah, the problem with discard decks and surgical decks are that uh, they don't address the top deck. Children's Edict. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I'm at one, and I have to draw Swords to Plowshares. And I can't draw a cantrip to try to find it. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Got me. Yeah, this deck is just full of threats. This is just about the worst imaginable matchup for a deck that's trying to search all the threats out of someone's deck because all they do is tap out for a variety of different threats and one is much like the other once your opponent's in top deck mode every single one of these things will kill them tough tough way to start this league let's go to the next round if you've ever wanted to learn how to play poker there's no better way than pokercoaching.com's master the fundamentals course which i'm excited to give all of you for free this course is separated into 19 short sections that will make sure you understand everything you need to know to play well and beat your friends. The first section is on the rules of the game, then you'll learn about hand ranges, equity, basic strategies, and a whole lot more. By the end of the course, you'll know everything you need to know in order to give you the best chance of success at No Limit Hold'em. Check out the link in the video description to pokercoaching.com slash free crash course. I'm on the draw for round two. I'm going to keep this hand. I got cantrips and stuff to do. Let's hope I'm playing against Reanimator. Main deck, game one, opening hand surgical. What are we going to do with this? Okay, uh, we are playing against a graveyard combo deck. Or whatever that's worth. This is Cephalid Breakfast. That's the only deck that would play Shuko. And they played their Shuko off plane, so I don't even have to worry about days here. I'm going to get Tundra and end the Shuko. Let's get that out of here. Prismatic Vista, that's interesting. Are they just an Azorius version of this? Stoneforge Mystic, they are pivoting onto the Cauldra plan. Oh, still dedicated to Shuko. That's lucky for me, unless they're already holding Cauldra. I'd love to find a Thoughtseize right now and see what's going on over there. Okay, I'm going to ponder, or I'm actually going to brainstorm first here, because I have shuffle effects, and then I can still ponder and hit snuff out after I brainstorm. That sees the most cards this turn. Thoughtsies and Swords to Plowshare is interesting. I'm going to put back C and Caracas. And then I think I'd rather plow. Though if they tutored up Shuko, they might be holding Illusionist, which would make sense to ignore Cauldra. Yeah, this is really interesting. I can just plow the, the germ token. So I'm actually not even worried about Cauldra now. Okay, you can keep your Stoneforge Mystic. Keep all your secrets. No, I, I, I do want a Thoughtseize at least. I'm not just going to hold up Plow. The underground C, Thoughtseize. Illusionist Therapy, Force of Will, my goodness. Okay. I'll take the Illusionist. And then, right now, while they can't Force of Will, I'm going to remove all the Illusionists from their deck. Let's get a look at this deck. We've got three Urza Sagas. One Cauldra. My opponent said in the chat, main deck surgical. See, they have all the things that I said when I started the deck tech kicking around in their head. And they're right. It's preposterous. But right now, they can't combo anymore. This blanks a lot of the cards in their deck. The Narc Amoeba, the Dread Return, the Thassa's Oracle. These are all bricks now. I just have to beat Urza Saga and Cauldra. Okay. Let's pass the turn. After playing against a deck last round that does not care about surgical, or it doesn't even care about getting its threat surgical. We're playing against a deck that actually does have a specific axis that it's trying to win on, which if they execute the combo, surgical can combat it once we're there. 
And if I can get an illusionist in the graveyard first, then they can't combo at all. So this is a one where you do want surgical. Like I would board in any number of surgicals that I had in my deck in this matchup. And the fact that they're just in the main deck is free money. All right, they're on the Nomad Shuko Stoneforge Mystic Beatdown strat now. The next one damage that would be dealt to Nomads in core is dealt to target creature you control instead. Okay, so this doesn't prevent the damage. It sends it somewhere else. So Baleful Strix's Death Touch will still kill Stoneforge if it blocks Nomads and they send the damage over. Good to know. Ooh, Snapcaster. I don't want that yet, but Snap Plow is basically my end game at this point. I'm going to start with a Ponder. I can Ponder, Shuffle, oh, Murktide Regent, what's up? Murktide Regent into my hand, Elfal Strix into the battlefield. And I am going to fetch Scrubland here. Let's get my colors nice and rounded out. Into Turok, what's up? And now we're just playing Esper Midrange versus whatever the hell this is supposed to be. <laughs> they drew the Dread Return. All right, main deck Surgical. Scoreboard one for that. We're now back to even after a scoreboard for the enemies last round. I like Dress Down in this matchup. Cephalo Illusionist is a 1-1 wizard for Plague Engineer. Opposition Agent, they are a Stoneforge deck and a Urza Saga deck and a Fetchland deck. To Rock Dread Cantor, they're a deck with white removal. Luster Storm mostly hits Force of Will and Cabal Therapy in this deck. Not a huge part of the matchup. Snuff Out is removal. I'm here for that. Null Rod can turn off Shuko and Aether Vial, but I don't really want to go that route. I think I'm actually going to cut the Delvers, one of the Hymns, and maybe Opposition Agent there's not room for. I guess I could cut Strixes for Oppos if I want to move up the curve that way. I want all my removal and all my counter spells. General, I, I kind of want all my discard too. This matchup asks so much of you. And having three surgicals in the main deck already is three cards that you wouldn't, that you'd normally be cutting. Like whatever those would be if this was a normal Esper deck. They're just already in the main, gumming up my sideboard. And maybe Strix is kind of low impact. And that gives me an oppo and all my discard. Though with all this hate, I don't know that I need the two mana discard. Give me two oppos, two hymns, three thought seizes. I got the, the main deck surgicals. Okay. I'm worried about Teferi Time Raveler in this matchup. And other than that, let's go. Okay. I will keep this. It has a removal spell. If I draw a discard spell, I'm in business. And I got a bunch of interaction as we move up the curve. Okay. I'm going to lead on Underground C. I was going to do that anyway to maximize for turn two him, but drawing snuff out just makes it a slam dunk. Caracas also doesn't cast Baleful Strix if I need that to happen. All right, now we're in hero mode. Do I play Baleful Strix and potentially die to the combo with protection? Or do I wait a turn? All right, I'm going for the Strix. If they go no matter Shuko, Illusionist with Force Backup, they got me. But otherwise... I want to draw my card. Brainstorm in the end step. Okay. Yeah, this is where Teferi Time Raveler is a problem. If they just plus Teferi, Baleful Strix can't kill it. And then they can bounce Plague Engineer and go off the following turn. They are fetching land number three. I hate this card so much. And they did the plus, which is the correct thing to do. All right, discard spell right now. Discard spell. Thoughtseize. Shit. Okay, I'm going to put a damage on Teferi, and then I'll play Plague Engineer and possibly die. In fact, likely die. Plague Engineer on Wizard. If they don't have it this turn, I have real pressure on Teferi now, but they've seen a lot of cards this game, and it's a tight little package. There's the Shuko. Oh, plus Teferi. That's good for me. They don't have it yet. Hell yeah. Discard spell. Okay. Uh, I'm going to him to Turok first. Or do I want to attack first? I want to know what I'm attacking into. Him to Turok you. Though it's clear they don't have the combo. I don't even know what I'm trying to clear with this him. They put the Shuko into play. Now they just need a Illusionist. Okay, they had step through. So 
The combo was live. Back to Fairy. Okay, now Teferi can't bounce my creature. Okay, continue to hang out here. Now they need an answer to Plague Engineer and an Illusionist from a reduced capacity. Clearing the step through means they don't have easy access to Illusionist. Yeah, holy moly. They've had quite enough. Plague Engineer beat the Teferi. On to the next round. You come here to level up at Magic. To level up as a software engineer, check out the new YouTube series Dev Better, hosted by the founder of 7 Factor Software and Magic Player, Jeremy Duvall. 7 Factor's small teams of high-performing engineers build custom mobile apps, APIs, and highly scalable systems for Fortune 500 companies and ambitious startups with great ideas. If you'd like to hire 7 Factor, or maybe join their team, contact them through their website at 7factor.io. And don't forget to subscribe to 7 Factor's YouTube for every episode of Dev Better. On the play in round three with our first appearance of Delver of Secrets, I'll keep this. It's underground Sea Delver. Off we go. Let my opponent wonder what this Underground Sea Delver deck is. Sucks I drew the Scrubland. I don't like if luckily Delver makes it so wastelanding is kind of insane. Wasting a Delver player when you're on the draw and they already have Delver in play is just an invitation to get cracked for a million and set yourself back resources against a deck that needs them less than you do. But in this specific case, if they had Wasteland, it would have affected my my development here, because this Ponder and Baleful Strix need that. All right, Delver, what do we got? Show me him to draw. Snuff out. Okay. I'll take the flip. I'm going to attack for three, then play Strix. Strix costs more. Arriving on curve, uh, Ponder can pick up pieces later. But Strix just adding to the board and drawing cards is where I want to be right now. I'm not going to like ponder and blindly hold up swords to plowshares against a Tundra deck. And I'm holding up Snuff Out anyway. This was... Didn't even give up on removal to do this. A okay, Force of Will. Good development. Tundra Misty Rainforest. My kind of gamer. Another Delver. Let's go. Brainstorm right now is interesting. Okay. Allowed. And in for four. I do want to ponder here. Or, I mean, ponder is a blue card for force. I do want to ponder here. My ideal situation is finding... Okay, I didn't find a blue source or a spell. I'm going to shuffle this. Wasteland, okay. I'll take that against the Tundra deck. Tundra decks hate getting wastelanded more than any other type of deck. And the Delver ended up being a blue card for force chilling in my hand. Emergency brainstorm in the end step. This looks bad for them. This scrubland has sucked though. It's just a one of in the deck, but maybe it should be a zero of. It's really tough balancing him to Tarok versus every other card you want to cast in three color decks. The opponent is at eight. And now I have another blue card to pitch to force, so Delver can get in there. Minor misstep. You got me. Opponent's on a two-turn clock over there. Okay, we're Jess guy. That's fun. I won't counter expressive iteration. I will counter a removal spell if they dig one up. They haven't had one yet. Ponder, okay. Fetch Ponder here puts them to two which is conveniently the power of Snapcaster Mage. Oh, shit. All right. I will force this and try to put the damage through. Okay, they force back, pitching Dress down. They're going to clear my Delver. Disappointing. They did burn off the Ponder. I'm going to hem them down to one card, and then Baleful Strix, let it ride, buddy. Minsk and Boo Taiga hit the graveyard. Wow. <laughs> Glad we saw that. What the heck? Oh no, they drew Scalding Tarn and they're cracking it. Is your other card also Minsk and Boo? This is an outrage if true. Actually, Uro is even worse. I kind of want it to be Minsk and Boo. At least I can snuff out that. No! Uh, betrayed by my best friend. Okay, gotta find a real way to kill my opponent now. Brainstorm, come on. Yeah! The Surgical, the main deck Surgical coming in clutch. Okay, Prismatic Ending and Plow. 
Uh, I'm going to put back Prismatic Ending and Ponder. And let's get this Uro TFO. Terminus is the one card in hand. Let's look at this deck. We got three minor missteps, two Minsk and Boo. The fairy Hero of Dom. Good for you. EIs. Okay. This is a Loamless four color control Uro deck. Okay. Score one for main deck surgical. So the score is a uh, two to one right now. Main deck surgical versus not main deck surgical. I forgot to check for win conditions. It's like one more Minsk and Boo, right? Yeah, I, I should have been looking at win conditions, not interaction. Goes to shuffle. Land number five. They can cast Terminus next turn. Attack for one. Switch it to four. And I really got to find another threat here. Oh, okay. I can Thought Seize the Terminus. They kept this Ponder on the plan of casting Terminus, so let's hope the card under this is another land, and they're just frozen. All right, make your land drop and pass. Okay, no land drop pass. Brainstorm does see three fresh ones right now. Or, no, I pondered into Thought Seize. The... I am going to Brainstorm anyway. My hand has way too much removal in it. I'm going to put back two Swords to Plowshares. I've already exiled the card I care about, and I don't want them to gain any life here. Not that I can shuffle this. I can tempo out a Minsk and Boo. I have Snuff Out Prismatic Ending, so I don't die to Boo. Wow! Main deck Surgical. Flipped an unwinnable game into a barely winnable game. We take those. A Turok is good against what this deck is presenting. Plague Engineer on Hamster is an answer to Minsk and Boo. It's ugly, but it works. Hydro Blast hits Minsk and Boo and Expressive Iteration. I don't need Dress Down. I don't think I want to... Well, maybe I want to fluster this deck. If I can beat up on their early EIs and stuff and back up with Discard. Like, it feels weird cutting Force of Will as a tempo deck versus... A control deck. I'm going to cut Swords of Plowshares for sure. Brazen Borrower is an option. Oppo is an option. Null Rod and Dress Down are not what I'm looking for. Okay, these three are already in. How far do I want to go on this? I think I want two Surgicals in. That's enough Surgicals that I think I can find one before Uro is beating me down. I love all the discard. Uh, snuff out, kind of bad. Yeah, I'm bringing in other answers to Minsk and Boo. And I narrowly won that game with a grip full of removal that was mostly dead. I want at least one Hydro Blast. Right, give me one of each for now. And then if I cut Force of Wills for Fluster Storms, that beats up one for one on the early stuff. And... Delphal Strix kind of slow. I am bringing in a ton of creatures. Oppo, other Hydro Blast. Can I get this Brazen Borrower in? I want some number of forces. I'm bringing in a Turok. I could cut a Him to Turok. Him to Turok is risky against Uro decks. But do I care about Brazen Borrower? The kind of tempos out against Minsk and Boo. I'm going to run it like this. I'll leave all my discard in. Hey, this hand kind of slow, but I am going to run with it. It's got cantrips. I can play cards. We'll start there. Yeah, I'll play Polluted Delta and pass. My plan is to just brainstorm next turn. Flooded Strand from the opponent and a go. Ooh, big, big T is here. Thoughtseize and Delver are both cards I would cast now if I draw them, so I am going to brainstorm now in my main phase. Uh, Ponder also is a card I would cast right now. I'm going to put back a Prismatic Ending and one of the lands. And I'm actually going to pass because I'm pretty happy to Hydro Blast in Expressive Iteration this turn. Just beat up on their development. If that's the route they take. Carpet of Flowers. Okay, that is good for one here. It's going to be good for a lot over the course of the game. Most of my lands are Islands. But I'm holding Prismatic Ending so I can clear it. If I'm worried about it, I guess is the, the caveat for that. There's a scrubland on top of my deck. 
I think I do want to draw that. Rubland, prismatic ending. And then I can hold up Hydro Blast and the other prismatic endings on top of my deck. Okay. I used a minor misstep on that. I'm okay with that. There is another prismatic ending on top of my deck. If I care, I can shuffle it away. If I don't, I am just going to leave up Hydro Blast, though. This is the Minsk and Boo turn. They could EI for value here. Probably not off this Tundra, though. They did make red. Counter target spell if it's red. Let's see if we got through that minor misstep or if they have another one. All right, dope. Minor misstep. Shwasted. Three cards left in their hand. I will draw the Prismatic ending, but I am just going to jam to rock this turn. And this Carpet of Flowers is going to be worth a million, so let's just hope they don't have anything great to cast with it left after this. Tundra and Tarak Khan Queso. I think if they could have protected Minskin Boo, they would have. So this should resolve. Oh, wow. Interesting. Force pitching Uro after letting Minskin Boo die. Okay. They got one card left in their hand and one billion mana with which to operate. I'm surprised by that. Uh, I guess they were trying to, they figured Uro is a fine backup plan. And let Minskin Boo die. Okay, Carpet's not making mana. This is where you want to be. I'm going to Baleful Strix. Start here. Thought Seize. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a look. What's left in this hand? It will be Reactive Spells or Lands. Those are the only things that could be in this hand right now. Yep, Reactive Spell confirmed. And Reactive Spell confirmed. I'm going to clear the Carpet. I don't want them top decking Uro and then casting front and back right away. Okay, genuine top deck mode. If they have a Mystic Sanctuary, it's online. Ponder. Yeah, this is why you clear the carpet. This ponder could represent any card in their deck. But instead they have to pass because most of their good things cost four. I'm gonna ponder here. I would like to interact with their hand in some way. Minor misstep. Okay, uh, they kept this Ponder. I can just Flusterstorm this. Yeah, that's good for three. I'm going to Fluster. I can still Brainstorm if I want to. No longer want a discard spell. Scrubland, once again, messing things up for me. Because I would not be able to cast Murktide Region if I drew it there. But Brainstorm's on top of my deck, which flips Delver. Caracas is under that, which answers both Uro and Minskin Boo. I didn't expect a shuffle here. I don't think you keep Ponder on the strength of Minor Misstep at this stage of the game. This might be Endurance. I can bounce Endurance and give myself at least an attack here to test what's going on. Okay, apparently it's nothing at all. I'm going to Brainstorm. Force of Will, happy to see you. Snapcaster Mage, happy to see you. I'm going to hide the Caracas, I think. Okay, I'm going to put Caracas on top with Brazen Borrower above it. Snapcaster can be most of the things Brazen Borrower is. And if I force here, I want to pitch Brainstorm, not one of my creatures with power and toughness. Okay, time to shuffle. Mystic Sanctuary. Terminus, okay. Uh, I don't have a Surgical. That's fine. I just stacked my my everything to specifically have more threats available. I'm going to let this resolve. You can have the Delver, and then I'll Snapcaster with Force Backup. Snap Fluster Storm. One, two, three. That's not enough. Yeah, they could have paid for that. In the end step, I think I'm just going to Snap Brainstorm and get some value. It's nice when Brainstorm is actually card advantage, and you can just cast it whenever you want. Oh, this is awkward. I want the shuffle, but I also want the Caracas. I guess I'm not shuffling. I'll just play Caracas. That gives me hardcast force of will. And everything else that's available to my hand. I can bounce with uh, Brazen Borrower and cast it. Gotta keep pressure on. As long as their life total is going down every turn, I'm winning. Brainstorm. Reasonable. They have no access to red mana right now. They can't Endurance until they find the second green. Okay, they found red. Is your last card EI or Minskin Boo? 
prismatic ending. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, I think this is worth a force. This is going to keep the pressure on while they're, while they're hurting over there. And now I can brainstorm, see a whole boat of fresh ones. Like Opposition Agent and Baleful Strix. If I put the two lands on top, I can Strix, draw a land, and then also Oppo. Blue, black, draw for Strix. And that's three mana for Oppo, and I get to shuffle away the other land. Perfect. Sapo's a little late, but it does attack. Yeah, this was a great card for them to find. Don't currently have a Hydroblast available to me. Ponder in Exile. Go for it. Did not shuffle. They like what they found. And they're passing the turn. Or at least passing through phases. I'm going to fetch in my upkeep. Get another underground sea. I've got plenty of white. I'm basically a blue black deck splashing white. If they interact with these creatures in combat, I've got Big Daddy Mercs waiting. Am I worried about another terminus? I guess is a question. They did not shuffle. One, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can present lethal without committing my Merc Tide. I think I'm gonna do it like that. Rest down in the end step. Okay. That makes Oppo worse. But I can... No, bouncing dress down doesn't make any sense. I could bounce dress down and play Oppo, but it doesn't actually do anything that I want because I could just replay the dress down again and draw another card. Did not shuffle. Play to land. I'm going to let dress down die. And I will try to present lethal here. Cast Brazen Borrower. If their plan is to hard cast force, they will get blown out by Oppo. One, two, three, four, five, six. This puts them to one and they can't fetch. Uh, not putting lethal on board here seems sus, but also they kept all of these ponders. I feel like I don't have lethal anyway. And now I can get you with an Oppo. Reward the patience. I hope they need all five of this mana. And they fetched a six, which makes them dead to my board. But we're doing something. Emergency brainstorm. No terminus triggered off that brainstorm. That's good news. And they're done. Just a little patience on this opposition agent. I read with the ponders. They kept both ponders from this position. My read was they have something here. I'm not going to just dump out all my stuff and die to it. And then by not playing oppo in the end step, not putting lethal on board... They gave me lethal by fetching because they thought I was out of gas, but surprise, I had a thing. That was pretty sweet. On to the next round. For the absolute best Magic the Gathering apparel on the market, check out the link in the video description to coalesceapparel.shop and be sure to use the code Boston Roll for 10% off when you check out. I'm on the play in round four with the nuts. This is the Thoughtsy Surgical Hymnoturok special. If their deck is reliant on any card in their opening hand, it can be gone forever. Or Thoughtsies can simply clear the way for him to Turok, all of which are things I'm happy about. Okay, another four-color control. This is nice. I'm going to take this Brainstorm and just make them unhappy. Just play with the cards you got. No special consideration this time. And I'm going to hold on to this Surgical to deal with Uro. Because that card is going to be a problem. Okay, this is interesting. Um, I think I want a Baleful Strix here. Because they have Dress Down that can answer it next turn. And they don't have a 2-drop anyway. Yeah, I'm going to Strix now while the getting's good. Maybe they Prismatic Ending my Strix. I don't care. That's just higher density for me to clear that Minskin Boo with the Hymn to Turok, Which is the card I'm actually worried about in their hand. Volcanic Islands. in play now. Swords to Plowshares, okay. Going to attack my opponent's life points. And I'm going to brainstorm first. See if anything inspiring comes out of this. Okay, the Snapcaster Mage is kind of inspiring. That lets me know that I have more hymns and more surgicals for next turn. I'm going to put back Baleful Strix and Swords to Plowshares and just blast off a hymn to Turok this turn. And I can set up a Snap Him next turn. And that's a lot of cracks at that Minskin Boo. Him to Turok. 
Prismatic ending in Wasteland. And I'm happy to see Wasteland go, but Minsk and Boo and Dress Down are still in the grip. A Dress Down on my Snapcaster sucks. I would like to find a Thoughtseize this turn and really get that Minsk and Boo out. Or a Force of Will would be fine. A Ponder. Let's start there. Discard spell. Alright, Force of Will I'll take. Oh, Caracas is even better. Swords to Plowshares underneath. Force of Will. And then Caracas. Don't shuffle the library. I'm going to attack with Strix. And I'm going to play Caracas. And in their draw step, I'm going to Surgical Extract their Wastelands. Get rid of this. I have Snapcaster. Okay, they just had one Wasteland. Now it's gone. They do have a Loam. The hand is Dress Down EI, Minsk and Boo. Ways they have to actually win the game with a Caracas in play include nothing. Oh, two Endurance. They have two Endurance I gotta beat now. That's literally it. Okay. I have to beat two Endurances. I probably should be screenshotting their deck to get the full information about exactly how susceptible they are to Surgical and on what axes. Yeah, I found Flooded Strand. Doesn't matter. That's the Force of Will. There is... What's under this? It's a land, right? Something I don't want. They can still dress down this turn. Unfortunate. Hopefully they just fire that off to draw a card at some point. Seems unlikely, but it's possible. If I force of will and endurance, that's just one thing I don't need to worry about. Another force of will. Is land number six important to me? Yes, that lets me hard cast force and hold up Caracas, which I say as I move into combat, which means that if I force this turn, I can't bounce the hamster. Okay, I got two hard cast forces ready. They have two ways to win left in their deck. I mean, saying Uro is not a way to win. Like, if you get a critical mass, you can Minsk and Boo tie up the, the Karekas with the hamster while Uro does stuff, or vice versa. There are ways to kind of back and forth cheese, but it's pretty awkward to do, and you usually have to be farther ahead than my opponent is right now to do that. Okay, if I can get them on the hook for dressing down a Murktide Regent, that's not bad. I'm gonna make the Murktide small anyway, because there's a good chance they dress it down to save damage, unless they have Plow, but I'm a Snapcaster deck, so I'm just gonna let that rock anyway. Okay, here's Dress Down. I can Snapcaster in response, and then him them. That taps me out of Caracas for the turn. Not interested. Let's just clear the dress down and be happy with this exchange. I still have a 3-3 flyer. Ponder, go for it. Did not shuffle Ponder. And they're passing their turn. I can force of will and endurance twice if they jump it in in combat here. There's one of them. Force of will. One down. They have one way left to win in their deck. And if we count the clock as a win condition, they are... Two minutes up on me right now, so I gotta play faster. I don't want to give them that out. Brainstorm, fetch land. They probably brainstormed away Minsk and Boo. I'm gonna bet on that, actually. Oh, I didn't even see this card. Alright, they have another way to win. Was that in their hand, or did I, it just not register when I was looking at their deck? This is why I need to screenshot. <laughs> I'll start doing that. They ponder. Fetch shuffle. EI. The lady is oiled up. I will not be forced of willing a Swords to Plowshares if they come up with one. That's just not where this card needs to be pointed. I know exactly what my job is here. And it has nothing to do with that. They did find Swords to Plowshares. Gonna lose my Murktide here. That's okay. Yep. You got it. And I have a lot of removal in my main deck. I haven't boarded any of it out yet. I'm to Turok. We can start off there. Yeah, I am going to start with him. Minsk and Boo Scalding Tarn in the Graveyard. Awkwardly, those were the two cards that I knew they had. Uh, okay, there is Prismatic Ending and two Delvers. Wow. I'm going to put back Snapcaster Mage and one of the Delvers. Or Delver, Snapcaster, other direction. Delver, Snapcaster. Prismatic Ending. This little inky buddy. And continue the beats. They've got two cards in hand, no sign of a row yet. 
I can drop a Delver and hold up Snapcaster next turn. Okay, here's this jerk. This will gain them a lot of life, but it won't actually stick. And they're going to be doing it. It's fine. I would be doing it too. That one Endurance is still in your deck somewhere. And the first Endurance can tuck the second Endurance. Or vice versa. Arrow's coming right back out of the garbage. Arrow's in play now. Temporarily. Here's a Ponder. I might just snap Surgical Endurance on my turn. Just get it out. Be done with it. Though that Mercurial Spell Dancer has me nervous. If I miss that, what else did I miss? This is Snapcaster, and I have Force back up. And if they pitch cast Endurance right now, that's bad. Snapcaster. They're forcing this pitching Uro. I am going to force back. They are almost out of win conditions. If I can win this battle, give it to me. Surgical Extraction. Extract Endurance. That will pay the mana. Endurance out. All right, let's get another look at this deck. There are two more Mercurial Spell Dancers. I am screenshotting the deck this time. I got to beat two Spell Dancers now. That's kind of a real clock, though. Swords of Plowshares, Minsk and Boo in hand. I kind of care about one of those cards. My deck is still full of removal for the two Spell Dancers. Yeah, they might as well start tying up the Caracas. Get this object into play. Make me do it. And made me do it, they shall. This gives me F6 value, though. Let's catch up on the clock. I'm going to attack my opponent. Not Minsk and Boo. Just don't care. Try to reduce their life total to zero. Jam Delver. And start getting... Start getting value here. They plussed, I bounced. And now I... Watch their clock tick down. And see what they do. They did find a Spell Dancer. My top card is not a spell. I think I know what it is, but I forget. Oh, it is a spell. Force of Will. Easy, easy. Let's see if they snap off the plow before I draw this. They probably should. Yep. Killing Delver. That's gone. I draw Force of Will. And the race is on. Back my opponent. Now they can throw Mercurial Spell Dancer, but then they're down to one way to win in their whole deck. They can't put counters on Spell Dancer because it doesn't have Trample or Haste. Spell Dancer triggers. This happens. Prismatic ending. Okay. Stability. Uh, and they can copy that. Pretty good stuff. If they're targeting Snapcaster. I will use the Force of Will on this. They didn't go for the copy, which has me a little nervous that they have a second spell. Okay, they have Force of Will. Sure, let's get weird. Gonna bounce Boo in response and then enjoy my my time in F6. Opponent is down to three life. If I can find a removal spell, we're out of here. Did it. White Boo. Remove this thing and attack. Okay, opponent's at three. Minsk and Boo just anemically tipping ticking up. There's the third spell dancer, the final way in their deck to win. And a wasteland for me. I don't think that does anything. Put my opponent to two. Yeah, I'm not going to play this wasteland. It just doesn't matter. The only thing it might do is turn on loam. If I waste Mystic Sanctuary, they could rebuy a spell and just pick one of these lands at random. Who cares? I'll just save it. There's the plus. Here's the bounce. It's a bouncy little hamster. They're on a two-turn clock. I'm on a nine-turn clock. Didn't even attack. Interesting. Attack my opponent. They go to one. I thought they were just F6 messing with me, but they actually did pass through all my phases, so I'm not sure what just happened. If they find Uro right now, that's kind of annoying. Prismatic ending is fine. My creature is gone. Okay, well. Uh, they are now winning the game if I don't find a threat. Or an answer. I need to deal one to them or remove this last way they have to win the game before they get ahead. Again, no attack. Oh, they're worried about, what, Snapcaster? That doesn't make sense, though. Okay, uh, I'm not going to spend life on this. Or I'm going to do this on their upkeep. 
uh, one, two, three, four. Snuff out. Please don't have a force. Okay. I think we're chilling now. Okay, yep. Uh, the second I answered their last win condition, we were done. Okay. Uh, that was sweet. Surgical extraction on the board. Lake Engineer on Hamster and Phyrexian are both relevant in this matchup. I brought an oppo last time. I don't even know if that's right. I do like Turok. I love to rock. Dress down, whatever. Hydroblast, Minsk and Boo, and EI. Clusterstorm is good early and bad late. This person I actually did take a screenshot of, though. We've got four EIs in the deck. Two Minsk and Boos. Three Uros. And the Spell Dancers. I think I want the Snuff Outs out. And I can chill on Force. I believe I cut a him last time, or I waffled about cutting him and then did, did or didn't. I don't even remember. I think I like what I'm doing now. I mean, cheese oppo is a lot of fun, though. If I can lock them out, if I can waste one land and then oppo another, the game will end. Uh, Swords to Plowshare is more important in this matchup than it was in the last one, though I did just board in two removal spells. I think I'm going to do it like this. Opponent chooses to play first, of course, and my hand, I got a mulligan this because it's freaking Scrubland. I'll keep this one. It's not freaking Scrubland. Send Prismatic Ending into the deck for later. Gotta watch my clock this whole time. If this goes to a game three, the clock will matter a lot. Oh, remember when I bought him Prismatic Ending? Whoops. Should have bought him Plow. It's like very obviously going to be relevant sooner. Uh, if I lose this game, it's because I bottomed ending. Dingus. Okay. Uh, underground C. Ponder. Okay, found an ending. Not a land to cast it, though. I'll put the land in my hand and hope we're not dead. Oh, that was such... Yeah, I was just thinking about the clock rather than actually winning the game. You don't need sources of plowshares early against a deck like this. It's just not a thing. Okay, Brainstorm will see two new cards, and I hope one of them's a white source. Let's go. Got the white source. I will now put away this Swords to Plowshares. Or I can put these two Strixes on top. Or, no, I'm... Is it Murktide? Now this is hard. But I think it's Strix and Murktide. And I am going to get Tundra. That Scrubland has messed me up too much. I've learned my lesson. Get rid of the carpet. They can't Minsk and Boo this turn, and I have an answer for it next turn. Life from the Loam, okay. They have Loam. And I'm drawing wild here. I'm gonna play Strix. And probably hold up Hydroblast. Oh, am I getting Pyroblasted on a Strix? That's aggressive. That's fine. I was not gonna Hydroblast that. I saved these for Minsk and Boo's. They dredged Loam, found only one land off it. It's the land they just fetched. They actually just milled three spells. Surgical. Oh, get wrecked. Okay, um, do I care about Loam is the question. And I think the answer is no. Let's see if they keep dredging, keep giving me gas to, to chew up. Okay, they're fetching here. We know Loam is a card in their hand. They've got Tundra Misty in hand. Tundra in hand. And I think I want to extract their Endurance. And then get a look at their hand. And then I can decide if I want to Surgical again with Snapcaster. Two Dress Downs in their hand. Tilt. I almost targeted Dress Down. All right. Endurances are gone. Uh, dress Down, too good here. Didn't even look at their sideboard. I'm so bad at playing with Surgical Extraction. They're fetching now. Mystic Sanctuary targeting EI. Okay, I can Hydroblast EI. And not targeting that dress down was a huge mistake. Or at least it worked out poorly for me. Mistake is uh, arguable. Counter target spell if it's red. I'll do that. It is red. 
I checked. Undra. Yeah, this is rough. I gotta clear these dress down somehow. I need another surgical or some discard spells. Alright, how about some discard spells? Yeah, there's a discard spell. Multiple, actually. I mean, this Merc Tide sucks. So, uh, their hand is dress down, dress down, plow, plow. This is not a time for Merc Tides. Don't shuffle the library. And I am gonna... I'm now ready for Scrubland. Right now, while there's zero lands padding their hand, I'm gonna get two spells from you. Hope it's the two dress downs. Just put them in the graveyard. One of each. The sampler platter. Kinda hope they panic and try to cantrip off dress down. Okay, Uro in the graveyard. I have Swords of Plowshares for that. I'm not even worried about it. And I'm gonna plow it in response to its trigger so they don't put Caracas into play. With two plows in my hand, I'd kind of be in to them forcing a plow. But I don't think there are other outs here that I don't want to play to. The Uro's gone. They're at a million life. I'm still slightly over a minute behind on my clock. I gotta recoup that somewhere somehow. Okay, Ponder. Let's find another him. Thoughtseize Snapcaster. Okay, I'm gonna Thoughtseize. And hopefully this is the last dress down. Okay, I'm taking dress down. And that turns on Surgical. Uh, there's an EI in their hand. I can snap Surgical EI right now. There's another Snapcaster on top of my deck. Take your expressive iterations, please. Opponent's got Plow, Loam, and E, and, or Plow and Loam, not even EI. They're about to lose that. Oh, that was the Plow. I had that revealed twice. Screenshot the sideboard. I'll look at the screenshot later when it matters. Uh, looks like they have some surgicals of their own. And off we go. Life from the Loam is your hand. We're both kind of hellbent here, but I have Surgical on top. Or a uh, Snapcaster on top. It can be whatever I want. Okay, they immediately ripped Uro. Bad news bears. I can answer it, though. We'll probably just put Loam in the graveyard here. Yep. Oh, it did have a target, too. Yep. I would have cast Loam even without a target there. Snapcaster. I think I need to save that for a Minskin Boo. Because I have... Hydro Blast in the graveyard. I can plow this Uro. Snap Blast. Minsk and Boo. And we're chilling. Ponder's fine. Just gonna check their deck. There's no... They're out of Endurances. They only had one and I got rid of it. Or did I... I surgical those already. Right, right. So this is the only time they get to go through their deck. They still have the Spell Dancers. They do still have three Spell Dancers. Okay. Here's another Uro. This is two out of three accounted for. I gotta watch out for their surgical extractions, though. That could blow me out on the Minsk and Boo interaction. Draw for turn. I would like to find something that can attack other than Snapcaster Mage. They're not judging Loam, they're just taking draws. Spell Dancer, okay. I've got answers to that. I'm not ready to spend Snapcaster on it. Here's Caracas. We haven't seen their wasteland yet. Maybe I should have sandbagged that. I can source the plowshares if this spell dancer gets too crazy. Maybe I'm just supposed to do it anyway. With four cards in hand, Pyroblast in their deck. I want to find a discard spell and check what they're doing first. On discard spell. Okay, Delver, cool. Delver, get in there. Let's race. They didn't interact with Delver. They did dredge loam. Tundra, they milled one of the spell dancers. That's good. One more win condition down. Prismatic ending. Okay, deal. I am going to be patient about this spell dancer. Got a lot of life points. I can't double spells yet. Okay. Was I rewarded? Blue, white. Delete this, please. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I got to keep my Snapcaster, which is my Hydro Blast for Minsk and Boo. But I don't even need to do that now. I have Caracas. Just gotta keep my clock on top of things. Blue, black. Elfal Strix. They did have the Pyroblast. Cool. Good to know. I'm clicking fast, playing fast. I gotta recoup about 50 seconds on my clock, and then I'm driving. Okay. 
One, two, three. I'm going to name Phyrexian with this. And it is a creature with power that can attack my opponent. They only have one left, but that's okay. Terminus, sure. You got it. Ponder. Let's go, Ponder. Murktide, yes. Blue, blue. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going all the way in on this thing. Opponent's at 36. Yep, Swords of Plowshares. Shit, they found the Wasteland. Oh, I forgot to float mana. I was busy passing the turn. Oh no, they're gonna Minsk and Boomy. I could have Hydro Blasted. Or no, I couldn't. This That was too white anyway. Uh, this is bad, though. I can Hydro Blast on my turn, but I gotta deal with this 4-4 somehow. And I gotta Shuffle, because my top of my deck is bad. Okay, removal spell for the Boo, and... I'll him to Taraki first. Let's get you empty. Then I'll answer Minsk. And then I got to deal with Boo. Hydro Blast. Okay. Uh, everything's gone. Everyone's hellbent. They have Loam. They have a 4-4. I have some removal left in my deck. Some Snapcasters. Some Baleful Strixes. A Baleful Strix. Black. Blue. Please don't have Pyroblast for this. Let me stabilize. Okay, we're extra in there. Probably should have saved that plow for their last Uro. I am playing fast and loose right now, though. The only way I can lose this match is to the clock. This wasteland has nowhere to go. I'm not going to fire it off. I drew a Snapcaster. They're not doing anything. Do I want to play Delver? I think I do want Delver. And I will run the wasteland out. Yeah, I can't tell if they're just not drawing any action or if they're actually trying to play to the clock. Seven and a half minutes is plenty of time to attack for 29 if they're just not going to play the game. I would like to reveal Hydro Blast, yes. That's a good card. And I have Snap Plow for the last Uro. They are kind of running out of stuff to do over there, and they're not going to time me out. At least not this game. If they stabilize this game, they might time me out in a game three. But this one, I can make it happen. Brainstorm, you got it. Fetching off their Brainstorm. They're almost back to their starting life total. They're also back in the same minute on the clock as me. Still ahead, but I'm moving. Endurances are gone. One Uro left, one Spell Dancer left, one Minsk and Boo left. That's what they got. Surgicaling my Prismatic Ending, go for it. Nothing I can do about that. They get to see the Snapcaster in my hand. They know what I'm working with here. What does Prismatic Ending do? Did they just count my plows and figure there's more? We got a GG's main deck. Surgical was brutal. That is the point of the deck. Thank you for noticing. Wowie. Okay. Sick, sick, sick. And on to the final round. We are three and one. Wow. We're a few rounds into the video. Thanks for sticking with me. Friendly reminder that if you're still here and having fun, smash that subscribe button. And if you want to play what I'm playing, you can use my affiliate link for TCG Player to support the channel while you shop for cards, and you can try any deck anytime with a cardhoarder.com loan account for Magic Online. All these links are in the video description below. Now back to the league. I'm on the play in the final round. Positive records locked. Also, I want to point out, there's been no game threes in this league. We o 2 would and then we 2 0 2 0 would it's almost like some decks are bad against Surgical and some aren't. I'm going to keep this one lander. It has Thoughtseize and Force of Will, even though it doesn't have the second land or the cantrip that I want, but there's a lot of one and zero mana spells in this hand. I'm going to rock it. Please don't have Wasteland. Show me a combo deck I can pick apart. Okay, uh, this is, in fact, Cephalid Breakfast again. And I want their... Their days or their ponder. In Cabal Therapy, probably Blind Name's Force of Will, which I do have, but that doesn't stop Snuff out. And I'm going to take their days. My one lander is not prepared for that. But look, another matchup where main deck surgical is good. Here's the ponder. I would love to draw land right now and play my Baleful Strix, but I will also deploy Delver. 
Maybe I should just play Delver even if I do draw the land. Save Strix as Force of Will fuel. Well, now I don't have a choice. Let's go, Delver. Make it happen. And pass the turn. I have two pieces of free interaction in my hand. They have Cabal Therapy, which usually names Force of Will in the blind if you're a combo deck, which I do have. Fetch for Underground C from the opponent. And Cabal Therapy resolves. Show me that Force of Will. Well, oh, they named Brainstorm. We got away with it. Did you not see me miss a land drop? I would have cast Brainstorm if I had it. Okay, dope. Feeling good about that. Right, uh, I would like rather draw a land than flip Delver, but I'm happy with either outcome. <laughs> or just draw another Delver. Okay, they're holding their Dread Return. They need to get that into their graveyard before they can win. And they have Illusionist and Land, two mystery cards. And they know they have to get through Force of Will and Snuff out. And now there's real pressure on the board with Double Delver. I didn't know about this Planes, so this is new information. If they have Teferi here, that will eat my Force of Will. If they can protect Teferi, I probably just lose. Here's the Force. Please don't have Days as your one mystery card. Okay, Force is cleared. Come on, action. Baleful Strix. I hate you so much, deck. Okay, uh, our own fail rate is always a concern. But we do know three of the five cards in the opponent's hand. Ponder. Okay. I would like to flip my Delvers, revealing Brainstorm. That's the ideal situation here. I do want to significantly change the texture of my hand while applying pressure. There's the polluted delta I knew about. And they did not shuffle with Bonder. Flip revealing brainstorm. Hey, flip revealing brainstorm. Ask and you shall receive. Shouting out the name of the card you want is a hallmark here on the Boston Roll channel. This is how you win games of legacy. If they daze this, they can't daze snuff out. I prefer they didn't have daze. Oh no, not like this. Well. I guess I am going to be entirely non-functional and just hope that this Snuff Out plus Quick Clock gets the game won. Because, uh, middle fingers at me here. Turn 5, cantripped, cast Brainstorm. I've seen 15 cards in my deck and one of them's a land. Even playing 18 lands instead of 19, which I would have preferred. This is an outrage. Okay, they fetch down to 9. Just 3 Delver hits instead of 4. Win the game now. Brainstorm. Okay, now for the first time, I don't know any of the cards in their hand necessarily. I assume they're going to keep Illusionist, but this Dread Return's a problem. That's now in their deck. Nomads, they can immediately fire off Cabal Therapy and not give me priority to snuff this out. And then that clears the snuff out. Or they could just have Daze and win. Snuff out. Yeah, there's the Daze. They hesitated on my Brainstorm. I knew they had it. Okay. That was miserable. Okay, we've beaten this deck once before. Plague Engineer, Plague Engineer. Dress down, dress down. Opposition Agent. I think I like Turok. Prismatic Ending. Or This was the matchup where I cut Delver, right? Strix is a little slow. I'm bringing in a bunch of creatures. I can attack. My interaction is in. Now they should expand. Effect, surgical Extraction, which is extra annoying. Didn't get the game one cheese off it. Do I want all three hymns in, or do I want both Merktides in? I do need to win the game somehow. I'm cutting another Strix. Okay, on the play, have two lands this time. Unstoppable. Start with a Ponder. I know what they're playing. I actually don't... Or, I don't mind this. Land number three and Merc Tide ready. I can shuffle away land number four that I don't necessarily need. They didn't jam Nomads, which means I get to Baleful Strix. I'm gonna get the Tundra. Black Blue, draw a card, Force of Will, let's go. If they keep sitting on these fetches, life's gonna get real good for me. Ooh. Come on, Oppo. Let me untap. Let me get to my main face. Don't crack this fetch. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my god. Okay, we're in Oppo Town. 
And because they don't have an island, they can't even daze this. If they fetch, I'm just getting them. It's go time. I'm going to get the scrub land to round up my colors and try to just shadow run my opponent now. They can't daze, and I have force back up. And if Oppo's in play, the, Sir the Saga doesn't get anything. Force pitching to Fairy. Force pitching Murktide. I'd rather a brainstorm in my hand against the combo deck than a third creature when I'm already winning. That's why I pitch Murktide there. Yeah! Turn three win. Okay, someone took us to a game three. They still haven't seen a surgical. Brazen Borrower can interact with their combo. I don't know if that's necessarily the direction I want to go. Opposition Agent is a lot worse on the draw and a lot worse when they know about it. So maybe I chill on that. Bring in the Borrowers. Yeah, I like that switch. Makes sense. They're going to play like I have Opposition Agent anyway. On the draw with Thoughtseize Swords to Plowshares. Give me this. I have a different three drop lock piece, not Oppo Agent. If they play around that, then. I mean, playing around Oppo Agent literally just means cracking your fetches and not waiting. They also have to think about Swords of, or uh, Stoneforge Mystic anytime I have three mana up. I'm going to keep. Let's hope they don't turn one Nomad or Shuko. Because then I just lose to a Daze. Wait, if they Daze, they can't combo me. Okay, no, that's actually fine. And this is what I was talking about. They just fired off this fetch land that they may or may not actually use for anything. Fetching basic island, which they have seen wasteland out of my deck. Stop. There's no way you have stifle. Cut it out. Okay. Thought sees you. Tell me about your thoughts. Brainstorm hides the good thoughts. Force of will, illusionist, ending. I'm going to take illusionist. They must have another one. They wouldn't just hang this out there like this. But I'm a deck with Surgical Extraction, and they don't know that. Yeah, if they run out another... Oh, that's not even the land I saw. Oh, they're just playing around Oppo. What's going on? Yeah, okay. Genuinely just... Fetching. Getting a basic land. Are they going to back to basics me? What is going on right now? I know they can't interact with me. They have no blue card. If I can ponder into... A surgical right now. We get to jump from the top rope. Just take illusionists out of their deck. Hard to be mad about a second plow and a snapcaster. I already have a snapcaster though. Is second plow actually helpful? Yes. Okay. I'm going to take the second plow. And I'll play a fetch land. And decide if I want snapcaster next turn. I'm just operating with perfect information here. No targets for ending. They don't have a blue card for force. Underground C. Okay, now I don't have all the information anymore. And they drew Ponder for turn. Sure. I would really like to Surgical Illusionist because Teferi is such a beating on me. If they find Teferi, they get to start doing whatever. And I know they have Prismatic Ending to clear Plague Engineer, so that's not a solution. I could snap Thoughtseize, take the Prismatic Ending. But then I might lose next turn. The combo decks are hard. I'm going to fetch the Scrubland in case I want to pass with double white this turn. Scrubland also casts him if I draw it. It brainstorm. I am still deeply invested in finding a surgical before they find it to fairy. Still not a surgical. I don't need Caracas. And Brazen Borrower does clear to fairy. Okay, I'm going to hold on to Brazen Borrower. And I can probably get rid of Tundra. Yeah, and then I just fetch up Tundra. Okay, yeah, I'm going to keep my spells. This risks missing a land drop, but my spells are here. I know about Force of Will, too. That's a big concern. Ponder, okay. If they don't Teferi, anything that's not Teferi is mostly okay to me. Goes to Shuffle. Good, good, good. And I am going to fetch the Tundra... I want fresh looks at Surgical. I got three of them. I got Brainstorm in my hand. Come on, deck. Hook it up. All right, Force of Will makes me a little more comfortable. That's something against a fairy. And I'm going to use Underground Sea to Brainstorm, leaving up the double plow. Because I do think that's important. Yeah, Surgical, let's go. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, if I put back one of the Snapcasters 
and the Plague Engineer. Probably want to do this in the other order, because when Surgical resolves, I don't need Plague Engineer anymore. And I'm going to operate in their draw step in case they have an Illusionist, which is generally what you want to have. Surgical Cephalid Illusionist right now. Let's flush out the force, get a look at the hand, and get after this. If they do force here, I can snap Surgical, take another shot at it, leaving back Force of Will and Swords to Plowshares in case they have multiple layers of protection. Force Pitching Force. Okay. Gonna let that happen. Then I'm gonna fetch to make sure I leave up white. Underground C. Snapcaster Mage. Target Surgical. Relentless Bashing here. Cephalid Illusionist. Take another crack at this. I'm at 10 life. But two plows and force. A prismatic ending plow. How can you win now? You have three Strixes, three Nomads, three Sagas, and three Narcomibas. Okay. Uh, there's not even a Stoneforge Mystic Package in this deck. This is truly anemic. Okay. It's got to win the Esper midrange matchup now. Sandra, I expect some removal. Okay, no removal. Cool. Saving it for a better target. Which is fun, because I have shown them Opposition Agent. So they have to kind of think about whether they want to spend a Precious Removal spell on this dopey little dope. And I'm just going to poke them for two until they decide this is worth it. The other Tundra. Archimiba. Okay. Archimiba resolves. I am not going to trade with that. I have Murktide region in my deck. Or, I'm not going to removal that. I'm going to offer a trade with it. I have better two-for-ones. I'm a... I'm supposed to function like this. They're just living here because they ended up here. Okay. No block. I think they can race. I'm going to ponder right now. Ponder. Leave up swords to plowshares and force. Ponder found brainstorm thought seize. Yeah, I'll keep these cards. I get to hit a land drop this turn. And then do more stuff over the coming turns. Sounds good to me. I'm winning the race. If they plow a Snapcaster, that gives me life points. This is the one Aether Vial still in their deck. And there it is. Swords to Plowshares, sure. Snapcaster is gone. Prismatic Ending left in their hand. No attack. Okay. They've suddenly decided they need to be defensive. Attack with Snapcaster. And there's the trade. Okay. I'm just going to pass the turn. I'm drawing Thoughtseize next turn. Their last card is Prismatic Ending. Brazen Borrower can bounce Aether Vial and then deploy as 3-1. Then I can thought seize the removal spell, and we're in beat downtown. Oh no, they drew a spell. Brainstorm, that's a pretty good spell. I'm going to let them have it. Brainstorm from one card in hand. If they shuffle, it means they, they're hellbent. Oh no, the Brainstorm replaces itself. So they do have one additional card in addition to the... So they can shuffle and keep one card in hand. What do we all think the odds are it's the same card? Okay, I'm going to Petty Theft Vile, and then drop in Brazen B. I don't think they would have kept a Daze at this phase of the game. And if they did, then they're empty, and that's fine. We're going to find out what they kept right now. With this Thoughtseize. Hope they didn't flip the ending into a plow. They did not. Just Vile in the hand. Back for three. I think it's time to brainstorm. I still have my land drop. I'd like to add to the board if I can here. Oh, Murktide region adds to the board. I don't need all these plows right now. And then Murktide region should end the game, backed by force of will. I can't imagine what they would have here. This is a full-size lethal Murktide backed by force against the top-decking opponent. I think we're done. They did not shuffle. This is a card they saw off their brainstorm last turn. Thos is Oracle. Uh, good run, good run. Have a look. Let me know what you see. And GG's. This is going to be a 4-1 league. I wish I had the mana up to dress down the Oracle. <laughs> Just show him his boss. 4-1, though, is the final result. We lost to the deck that did not give a single F about Surgical. And then we beat Cephalid Breakfast twice, which is a graveyard combo deck. And we beat Four Color Control twice, which is a deck that needs Uro Titan of Nature's Wrath in its deck to effectively win a game.
we saw a little bit of both of what I was talking about in the deck tech of just getting absolutely pummeled into the earth by a deck that doesn't care if it's any particular card is taken. And then we got to do the discard surgical thing, uh, remove Seth Little Illusionist from the deck, and then we just have to beat a, a bad Esper mid-range deck, which we are also a slightly better Esper mid-range deck. Again, Cephalid Breakfast, no Uros, no Wastelands, you know Caracas is safe. You also get to assess when you look at their deck what win cons they actually have left. That first game against Four Color, where it was, I identified, well, <laughs> falsely identified because I completely missed the Mercurial Spell Dancers, but identified that they only have two Endurance left to win the game with, and then hard targeted those with my interaction. Just let them EI, let them cantrip. None of those things matter. And because we played against four decks that use their graveyard as a heavy resource, we were rewarded for this deck building choice. We could have played against the Initiative or Red Stompy or the Epic Storm or just a bunch of things that don't care about their graveyard, and maybe we won for the League instead of 4-1. That's just a risk you take. I do think that this is not a great strategy if you are trying to force your opponent to care about Surgical by making by discarding their cards and then taking them away. I do think it's reasonable if they're using the graveyard on their own and Surgical can just be a reasonable card without setup. And I also think that two is the right number. If you insist on playing main deck Surgicals, three is so freaking many. I don't even play three Surgicals in most decks in my sideboard, usually like one or two in addition to whatever else I'm doing to interact with a matchup. Obviously, this is a different thing. But I think that first Surgical is so bad when it's bad that you only want two. And even when Surgical's good, the third one is bad. Between three Surgicals, three Snapcasters, there's no matchup on the Earth where you would need five or six Surgicals in a matchup. Usually two will do what you're trying to do with this deck. Then you get over the finish line. But that's just me trying to be responsible with an irresponsible kind of deck. I'm glad we could showcase the upside four of the five matches. I'm glad we got a look at the downside so people don't go thinking this is a great idea and they should do it with every deck, but this is a fun thing you could do. A fun way to attack a format that is pretty parasitic on the graveyard. And I gotta be honest, despite my feelings about the, the on-paper theory about this strategy, I'm pretty sure every time I've done this, it was a 4-1. This is the... Th third Legacy League I've done with main deck surgicals, and I played a modern one. There might be a 3-2 in there, but they were all positive records, and I'm pretty sure most of them were four ones if memory holds up. So pick your spot. If people are in the graveyard, go in there with them in the main deck. Get that sweet, sweet, salty tears in the Moto chat when you main deck surgical the Cephalid Illusionist. And that's all we want out of Game of Magic, right? Sweet, salty tears from our opponent. Ray, thank you for asking me to play this deck. Everybody else, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out the Patreon, and all the links that support the channel in the video description, and I'll see you next time.